Hi everyone, it's Dr. Scott Watson here to give you a brief tour of the features in Camtasia. Camtasia is a very popular uh, screen recording software, although it's great for a lot of other um, video recording uh, tasks, but a lot of people use it to make tutorials and education especially. So we're going to give you um, an overview of the user interface and then some of its major features. In the middle we have what's called the Canvas and uh, that's where you'll see video that you've um, either recorded or maybe uh, pictures or um, image you know any, anything you bring into the video um, all the elements that's kind of what your audience will see but you can manipulate it and you'll see that in a minute over to the left is the toolbar and you'll notice the top thing says media that's a media bin in there you would see any um, video or audio right now it's empty uh, and then annotations are where we're going to um, add text elements and different graphics that uh, highlight things during a video the the um the text uh, will mostly be for things like titles um, so for instance if i wanted to title this video um, all about camtasia i would drag um, a title in um, right now i can double click on it and say all about camtasia and resize it now you're actually seeing me in the canvas right because the canvas is the area where this title is and the element the title that i've put in is an annotation that I got from the toolbar. Um, so we've already done one of the elements. Now, say I don't want that um, uh, text to be um, white. I want it to be yellow. So if I want to edit the properties of anything that's in uh, the canvas, then we have to click on the properties bar over here. And then you can see you have video elements and text elements. And sometimes there's other graphic elements that you can choose from a, a toolbar up here. But we're going to change the text from white to yellow. Either I can pick a preset or I can choose from you know, specific types of yellow here. And when you find a yellow you really like, you hit this plus sign and you add it. And that's why I have some colors. So, so maybe I want it to be green, right? That's a, that's a color that I added uh, before. So in the properties, I was able to change that title. And I could also change the font. Maybe I want a different font. So um, let me close properties. And uh, let's talk, uh, instead of about annotations, let's talk about transitions. There's a lot of transitions you can filter out, like say you want to just look at the fades. And then say you want to apply a fade to your title. You want your title to fade in. I'll just drag and drop that fade um, right on the bottom uh, front. If I put it in the middle, look, it applies the fade in and out. So right now, if you watch the canvas, you'll see fade in. And then we see our title. And fade out and actually what was moving down here is called the playhead and it's moving along what's called the ruler so this linear view of left to right for my project is sort of how Camtasia is set up and right now this title is actually what's called a region it's taking up that little bubble that represents the title is just one region let's put something else in our project let's put um, me <laughs> let's make a screen recording I'm gonna close this transition here so I'm gonna click on the record button and then we get this record window where I can choose what I want to record right now it's um, the screen is being recorded if I want to I mean it's not happening yet but when I hit the rec start recording I can record the screen you know what's happening on your computer screen a lot of computer tutorials would use that um, I'm gonna turn that one off for now I'm gonna have the FaceTime though camera turn on and there I am see so um, if I want to record myself on camera as host I would put that in and then this is um, what mic do you want to use and do you want to record uh, through a mic and I'm using an Audio-Technica microphone I have a USB microphone here in my um, studio and that's why I have that selected rather than the built-in mic and you can even set the level if you watch the VU meter here how loud or how soft something is so I'm gonna pull it down uh, to about where I think it's a good level. And if I want to record system audio, that would be um, any music or um, alerts or any kind of uh, sound coming from the, the, the computer, the CPU of my computer, um, I would turn that on. So for instance, for right now, if I was just going to record me as host, I would probably not use computer audio. I would probably not use the screen. I would just have this one, the middle one, the FaceTime camera and um, the microphone. It says start recording. And it's going to give me a countdown three two one and i am alive so testing one two testing one two this is a test of me as your host just so we can get some video um, into our project and i'm going to say stop recording now we go back to the project and in the media bin i see there's my uh, video of me so i'm going to drag that one down i'll put that um, right here actually i'm going to put it right here the top is audio the bottom is video so sometimes the audio and the video will be in the same track, but if you want to um, say, for instance, I'm looking at that audio and noticing, boy, it's popping really high. 
Um, so I'm going to go into the properties bin, pull the gain down. Notice I only have one tool for that audio track. I'm going to pull the gain down, and you can actually see the gain on the waveform. Right now, that would be too low, and that would be too high. <laughs> uh, right about there would probably be the best. Okay, so if I scrub the playhead over, you can see that after the title, there I am on camera, and you could actually hear me if I was had the volume up. Um, so what about having the video of me fade in and out rather than popping abruptly in the timeline so we can go to the transitions and notice that little trick i said before let me try this again i'm going to undo both of those if i drag the fade right on the middle of the region it drops it to the front and the back so i have a fade in and out and here we go and here comes the fade out there we go. So that's um, how to put um, a video recording of you as host. Let's go ahead and try a screen recording. I'm going to hit the record button one more time. And this time I'm going to say record the screen. But um, yeah, go ahead and record me too. Uh, now let's not record me. No, I don't want to have me on as host. I do want to have me narrating though, because maybe I'm going to give you a tour of something. And I do want to hear any audio. Um, so I'm going to take you to a website, play some media from that website. You'll hear me narrating. Then because I have system audio on, you'll also hear the media from the website. And you'll see it all because we're recording the screen. Now you can record the whole screen or a region of the screen. Um, let's just go ahead and record the whole screen. So I'll leave it on uh, the whole screen. Say start recording. Okay. And here we go. We're going to go to a browser and we're going to take you to the techsmith.com tutorial area so that you can see um, there's some great tutorials up at TechSmith website. So if I wanted to, um, some of these features for Camtasia, I can actually go to their website and see them. Let's go ahead and watch one of them or just watch the beginning of one of them uh, so that you can hear the audio coming from the screen. All right. So here we go. Welcome to the right. Camtasia tutorials. Anyway, that, that gentleman talking was not me, obviously. It was part of the, the system audio. And then I'm going to end this recording. Stop. And there we're going to notice in the media bin, we have a new screen recording that I can add to my project. And um, again, the audio seems very loud. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the gain down just to a reasonable level. Um, and when I scrub past it, you can actually see there's the screen recording. All right, some other elements that you might want to add to your project. I showed you how to use annotations to create a title. Let's use annotations to create a type of title called a lower third, which is used to show who's on screen. So I'm going to go back to my um, annotations. I'm going to choose, um, I could choose just a plain text like this to identify myself as a host, right? But I could also choose one of these um, type of uh, resizable shapes that has text in it. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to say Dr. Scott Watson, and then I'm going to also put here that uh, I'm a composer and educator. Now, say I want composer and educator to be a little bit smaller than Dr. Scott Watson, then I would go over to my properties and for text, resize that, right? Make it smaller like that. And I can also read, this is in the canvas, I can resize the screen, resize things like that. Um, and a whole bunch of other things, right? So there's my, that's called a lower third sometimes when you put a, a label showing who's on screen. And of course I can go to the transitions and put a fade on my lower third. We've talked about a lot of, of Camtasia's features. Um, some others that we want to hit real briefly would be adding a picture. So for instance, if I have a graphic on the uh, desktop, let me uh, find that. Um, let's just say I'm going to add this graphic. I just drag it from the desktop and I can just drop it right on my project and it's going to show up in the media bin. By the way, you can also drag that right to the media bin and then later um, I'll show you there it is in the media bin, right? But because I dragged it in the project, it adds it to the media bin or I could drag it on the media bin and then drag it onto my project. And notice that in the canvas, I can resize it. I can sort of make it uh, rotate. I can do all sorts of things. You can also do that from the properties, right? But I can graphically do it. And again, notice that this is the region down here. We have a, a region representing what I've just added. And if I want that to fade in, I'm gonna to go to transitions, put a fade. So now that graphic, watch that graphic show up on screen. And then watch the graphic leave. And it leaves, right? Now, what if I wanted that graphic to be a little bit larger. In fact, I could have it, um, let's go like this. Let's have it uh, take up you know, most of the screen, right? So I can have that graphic, actually I could <laughs> make it be the whole screen, although it's kind of not the kind of graphic you'd want to do that for, but you can resize that graphic. And um, the reason the graphic is showing, by the way, is because the region is on top. 
in these um, regions below, whatever is higher will be in the foreground and whatever is lower. So watch what happens if I drag that picture down below. You're not going to see it here because what's on, uh, above it is going to eclipse it, if you will. But then as the playhead goes to a one place where I don't have anything eclipsing it, then you will see it. And then when the playhead comes back, you won't see it. So that's the kind of graphic probably I put up on top so that um, you actually see it when things are happening. So a graphic element. And let's say the last uh, thing that we want to do is say we want to add some, um, some theme music. I'm going to go out on my desktop here, um, grab um, this uh, MP3, and I'm going to add it to my media bin. Or I could just drag it right into the project, right? And it'll be added to the media bin. I'm going to take it all the way to the beginning of the project, though. So I'm dropping it right at the start of my project. And you can see that there's um, a waveform there. And, and now this um, uh, the MP3 that I just added to my project also shows up in my media bin. Could have done the opposite. Let me show you that. I could have. I'm, I'm deleting it now completely. Um, I could have dragged it into my media bin, right, like that. And then from the media bin, dragged it into my project. Doesn't really matter. But I am going to use the properties to turn the gain down a little bit. But here's what's kind of cool about theme music. Um, you can automate the volume. So at the beginning, we probably do want it to be loud. But eventually, right, when I start talking, I don't want it to be so loud. So what I do, and I'm going to have to zoom in here to show you this, is I'm going to double click along the, the, the audio line. And, and I just put what's called a control point in. I'm going to double click again, put another control point in. And then I'm going to drag the second control point down, and that's called automating the volume. So now you'll hear it loud at first, and then it turns down. And you can make the volume as soft or as loud as you want. Now, say if there's a point where um, you're not talking and you want the volume to come up, you put up a couple more control points, you bring the volume up there. All right, so here it's going to automate up and down. All right, the volume's up, and now the volume's down. And say I want it to fade out, I'll put another control point and just bring it all the way down. I'm going to resize the region because I don't need that. So now gradually my audio will fade out until you don't hear it at all. So we've talked about a lot of things. We've talked about um, the user interface and all the different uh, por portions of it, like the canvas, the tools, the properties, the... Um, ruler with the playhead and then the the tracks window in the bottom with the regions and then we've talked about all the different elements you can put in using the record window like recording yourself as host recording screen recording and then using the microphone to get your voice for voiceover narration and recording the computer's audio and putting in things like titles although we're going to use annotations camtasia doesn't have a title uh, category but one of the tools annotations uh, does take care of uh, putting in um, anything with words, right? And then we um, use titles for like at the opening over black, but we also use titles over top of video for like the lower third identification title that that identified me. And um, we added pictures and we added theme music. And that's pretty much a basic overview of Camtasia.